just got something pretty cool today. It's a 1971 Datsun 240 Scarab. This is actually my mechanic's uh, car. And she is actually, works for me. She's not a, uh, you know, outside mechanic or anything like that. It's She works here at the shop. And a lot of the cars that are that we're working on and selling on Bring a Trailer, her hands are on every one of those. So she does an awesome job uh, for us uh, here at Denmark. So her name's Diana. She bought this car in 2009. This is a an original Scarab. And if you don't know what Scarab is back in the late 70s, a guy named Brian Morrow started building these cars and converting them over to uh, 350s. There was, um, you could buy some over counter the par parts and then they, they, actually, they actually built them in the factory as well at uh, in San Jose. So this car was actually built in Campbell late or probably 1980 he sold the company and it was moved to Campbell the plant and everything and they stopped production around 84 because of California emissions and stuff but you know this is uh, one of those cars it's totally awesome super fast it's got a, a 350 in it four bolt main some stuff has been updated on it but we have all the original parts. It's got a six-speed Corvette uh, transmission in it. It's just a pretty sweet car. Rev it up a little bit. It just sounds. It just sounds great, and it's super cold out, so it's you know you see a little condensation, but super super nice car in general. It was probably built. We're guessing probably 80, 81, 82, right in that uh, vicinity. You can see the uh, scarab flares on it you'll see some other cars and i think one of the cars that i have in the uh in one of the collages and stuff is is actually this car and it, i'm pretty sure just just the way it's just th certain things about it when i see it i think it's the car in the uh in kind of the little magazine uh article especially the way the flares are the spoilers and and everything on it and uh, so anyways we'll uh i don't have documentation it's just, i just think it is so we'll just start here in the front and work our way to the back and we'll just talk about it as we go you can see here it's been updated with different headlights and it also has uh you can see there the bright lights are working and you can see it has uh headlight covers which is really cool i actually put that, those on most of the z's that i have but um, this car has those on. You can see all the marker lights are working. Look, look up underneath here. You can see the marker lights are working here. You got blinkers. We got our left. And we got our right. You can see it's got original uh, plates on it from 1971. Though so this car that wasn't here in Oregon, uh, those those uh, plates were put on it by, by Diana. So... Uh, but they are registered to the car. You can see here, she also got this plate frame for it. Scare performance, which is cool. The badge does come with it. In one of the pictures that I think is the, the car, it has chrome bumpers on it. Uh, these have been, these are black now, but um, in that car too, it, all the, the rest of the chrome is black in it as well. So it's got the same tail, everything on it. So, and it's got really cool, I'll show you later. Um, it's got the original bell housing. The valve covers say Scarab on it, but the bell housing from the, uh, the uh, transmission, uh, it has Scarab on it, ultra rare for sure. And you'll look here at the wheels. These are three piece wheels. They're uh, Gotti uh, 75 BAs. And I think this is uh, probably a 15.7 in the front. And I was thinking these are 15.8s in the rear. It could be a six in the front, I'm not 100% uh, for sure, but I don't think this is a, uh, a 10 in the back. So it's got, we'll just look here at the paint. It's got a few flaws. I mean, it's been painted for a long time. I mean, since the, the 80s, but overall it looks pretty nice. You know, the factory flares look good. You can see right here in the paint, there's a little crack right here. And the uh, scared cars got the venting 
on them. The scoop was added by Diana when she first got it. This is a car that, you know, she never really wanted to sell. I mean, she always wanted to, to keep it. And so, but she's got some other things she wants to do uh, now. So she's uh, decided to let it go. So it's, it's kind of bittersweet moment for her. And I'm happy that we can help her selling it. You can see here the original VIN number. HLS3031293 and it does match on the firewall I'll show you and the door tag inside but you can see a little rivet came off that not a big deal it's still attached there but the other two fins are there and the most important one is actually underneath the hood because it's it's a stamped one in the body well, let's look at the paint a little bit more you can see a little bubble right here in the bottom of the, the fender the bottom of the doors and the rest of the rockers here she had a you can see a little couple chips right there she had a friend 
the side. It had a little tiny ding there. And so she had this friend that said, hey, I can fix that. And she's just a nice person and thought, well, I'll let him try. Well, that's what it ended up to look like. It would have been better just with the little, I mean, it was just a little tiny ding. It would have been better just to, if he didn't touch it. But anyways, he tried to blend it in and it didn't work. So that would be easy for someone else that knows what they're doing to uh, blend that in, in themselves. So I wouldn't repaint the car because of that. If you look here at the bottom of the fender, there's some little bubbles right here. But the rest of the rocker looks good, except right there on the seam, there's a couple little bubbles there. A little bit here. You can see at the bottom of the uh, quarter. And we'll put it up on my lift so you can see it a little better. You'll see some little chips right there, but overall, it looks pretty good. You can see here where they put the factory flare on there, the scare flare. You can see these little see these little circles right here. When they did these cars, this is actually a real flare. They actually cut the fender out and then put these on. It's not like, you know, sometimes people just leave the fender on, don't cut it out. I mean, this was made to have bigger tires on it. The front tires are a Nito, a Nito, uh, NT 450s, and we got P225 50 15s. We're guessing those tires are probably about 10 years old. The hand cook uh, Ventus were just put on, they're 265 50 15, so those are brand new. So the front ones are aged a little bit, but I haven't seen any cracking on them or anything like that. Um, but some people, yeah, right here, I think they're 08. So they're, they are 10 years old. I would still drive on them, but uh, some people don't like to do that. So overall, everything else looks pretty good. You know, you'll just see a couple little chips and little touch-ups on the car in general. You know, but overall looks pretty nice. We'll show you all the photos. We'll show you the interior here in a little bit. Probably got a little sun uh, today. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Hey, we're gonna take a look inside the interior here. It's actually pretty nice in here. You can see it actually has a uh, Momo wheel. About two years ago, she put uh, original seat covers that a 71 would have on it, but from Scarab, they actually did some uh, different things. They had actually put a velour interior. You can see here. And they would overstuff the seats a little bit, and it kind of had a herringbone uh, type insert that matched here. And she, they were starting to get kind of worn out and, and stuff. So we actually have the, the seat covers. And the factory cars, you couldn't order that stuff from the factory, uh, you know, like over the counter or anything like that. So when they built the cars there in Campbell and at uh, San Jose, you know, you could get different interiors. So it was kind of nice since she was being thoughtful, you know, because she wanted to retain a lot of the original stuff. But um, we do have those seat covers you'll see in the pictures. That's what those are. And But I like it like this uh, myself better. And I'd probably go back to an original uh, door panel. If you look here, this is the Corvette shifter, six-speed. You know, the console is in pretty nice shape. You know, it looks like it was, she had to modify it just a little bit uh, to get that shifter in there. Dash pad looks good. It's not a dash cover, but there's been a little bit of blue kind of right here on the top. Overall, the floor mats are in good condition. You know, no one ever really rides over there. This one has a little bit of foot marks. I think I got these for her actually a couple years ago, so it's, I always thought those looked nice in here. You look inside the door jam, you know, very clean. I haven't seen any signs of any accidents or anything like that. Original tag is still there, built in a uh, 571. 
and the uh, VIN number matches the title on the dash and underneath the hood. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff on the other side. I'm just going to show you the the felts and stuff look good and the uh, gaskets and stuff look decent but right here you can see it's definitely aged um, so you'd probably want to put new gaskets on it but they're not they're not horrible I will just show you real fast the windows rolling up it's actually starting to get cold that one's a little uh, stiff though he's using his other other hand so it does it, you can see the windows are tinted just a little stiff so um, it does roll up so we'll go ahead and look at this one I think he's using that the other hand see this one here rolls up pretty good the other one's just a little bit stiff you can see here it has a roll bar in it as well and I believe she put that uh, in there and I'll have to check on that dome light uh, for you there how to turn it on so um, we'll show you some more stuff here is that dome light work? Hey, here we are on the passenger side. Just wanted to show you just the other side real fast. You know, the seat is actually in really good uh, condition. If that's you texting me, I'm probably not going to answer uh, right now. You can see it's got the uh, original door panel on it. The rest of the dash on this side looks good. You can see the light works the map light the uh actually this light up here does not work i just asked her a few minutes ago um she hasn't really checked into it before but it's never worked since she's had it you can see here it's got a little crack in the console but overall really really clean interior non-smoker uh you know smells good inside you can see here in the jam, everything looks really, really clean. No signs of uh, any accidents. The seam looks good. So very, very clean. You can see some little chipping uh, right there that's been touched up. But overall, super nice car. And we will show you some more stuff. Hey, we'll go ahead and fire it up right now. Sounds really good. Very healthy uh, engine. I'm probably guessing it's probably 350 horse, maybe 375. But you know, we haven't had dynos or anything like that. Uh, it's a stage two, like I already mentioned uh, to you earlier. So just an awesome, awesome running car. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. It's actually one of my favorite parts. In general just it does not sound it, it definitely sounds exotic which is it's really cool i think it's part of the, the way the headers and the the way she chose to have, put the exhaust and everything it just it's got a magna flow muffler and two and a half inch uh pipes with a crossover go ahead and rev it up one more time you know sounds nice so someone's gonna get something pretty cool here you know it's off a mess again this is no reserve Okay, here we are. We're going to take a look at the trunk. I don't know if I can do that with one hand. There we go. I've always liked uh, Z's. Now you can look up through the front there. I just think they kind of... I know a trunk shouldn't be attractive, but I think it's an attractive looking trunk in general. But, you know, if you look here, very clean. Usually you'll see rust in these spots. This one's actually really clean. You can see all the original spot welds. All the channels look good. Rubber looks good. And overall, nice. You can see here there's no bubbling underneath. She built this uh, roll bar for it, custom roll bar for it herself. So she did a good job. She does a good job on fabricating. If you look underneath the trunk area here, actually the original mat in here but just put a kind of a dynamat uh, material in here small spare but there's underneath there the trunk is areas there's actually
actually really nice. I actually saw it before she she put that in there. So she was trying to keep the original uh, underlayment here, even though it's deteriorated a little bit. So, um, you know, not a lot I can show you unless you were to dismantle the whole thing, but you can see it's got the original panels inside here. So it's actually nice and tidy. Hey, okay, here, here we are. We're gonna take it out for a, a little drive. Just wanted to show you the gauges in general. You can see the oil pressure here is good. Temp gauge is working. Amp gauge, fuel gauge. It does have a different tack and it's a VDO uh, tack. So when you turn the blinkers on, you know, there's not gonna be an indicator in there because they, the factory one, we have the factory tack, it just, the factory tack originally died. So this VDO one fit in there perfect. So she went ahead and put that in there. You can see the odometer reads 23161. Uh, speedometer works and everything. Hear the horn. That's those Maserati horns. We'll hear the fan. This here is lifted up just a little bit, and that's just because it had to be modified uh, for the six speed in general. I'll show you the wipers. It's not raining right now, but it's just not going fast. The uh, clock doesn't work there. So, anyways, we'll uh, cruise it around. And obviously, the choke light doesn't work because it's got an automatic choke. So, we'll just uh, take it out for a little spin in general. See if we hear any rattles. I do notice in the. Uh... Actually, I want to be quiet because I want to hear it run. Hey, here we are we're gonna take a look underneath the scarab real fast my friends have been telling me Jason you need to get lights in the shop we just got the walls on there's our one light I think they're right I did uh, I got 25 I got to put up but I haven't done it yet so now it's a little dark underneath here so now I'm complaining about it so I guess I'm the person to make it happen so anyways we're gonna take a look underneath here I've got a big flashlight so hopefully that will help us We'll just start from the front uh, to the back. There's those Maserati horns that are in the uh, catalog of uh, Scarab. You know, overall, pretty clean underneath. Um, you know, the car's been driven, obviously, and it hasn't been restored since it um, <clears throat> was converted at Scarab. It's just been kept up and improved during the year, so you're gonna see some seepage and uh, different things on, on things, so and it could use some maintenance she's had a good time with the car taking to car shows and different things but you can see here it's been updated with uh, urethane bushings and everything on it all the red you can see there is nice the struts look good but what we really want to look up underneath here is you can see where the flares have been installed on by scarab they cut the fender out and then they uh, rip them on there. So you can see here, the integrity of the inner aprons are really nice. You can see there's no accident damage. Very, very clean. 
you know this is one of the first things I look at <coughs> on cars I crawl underneath and and look at them you know it the car can look great on the outside real pretty but this is this is the important stuff the structure you know just making sure everything's nice and that's why I've taken the time with the videos to actually start showing underneath the cars I know I keep on saying I've been doing it a long time with the video but it's just important to to see you can see a little bit of seepage here actually that's just a little extra from the zerk fitting uh, there on the uh, the rack up here but you can definitely see across here just minor seepage through the years and it does have a new oil pan gasket on it um, you can see here the dust cover is missing off the uh, transmission and again the transmission is a Corvette uh, 92 Corvette six speed so and it's a factory transmission someone told her she couldn't do it and she did it so it's in the car and runs great and really uh, helps out because it's got 411 gears I think it had uh, 353s or something like that originally so it's got 411s in it now so it's not revving out on the highway or anything like that you can see the disc brakes braided lines brake hoses you can see the long tube headers you know it's still got a little bit of se engine seepage uh, little areas but nothing that's really hitting the floor since the uh, valve cover gasket's been put on. Right there's the tag on the uh, transmission. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can see it with my camera. Here, but you can see. Can't even read it from here. I wouldn't even be able to take a picture of it. But you can see it says uh, ZF on the side. Right up here, this has been going on since she's put this uh, tranny in here. It's got a shift shaft seal up there. You can see that little box up there. It's leaking a little bit on there, so occasionally it'll get a little drip on the ground. Actually, I saw one right there just a second ago. Um, so there's a couple little little drips coming from the, the transmission um, from that seal. Look here, looking at the floors, a couple little dents, little dings on them, but overall really nice floors, especially for a Z. You can see here it's, probably someone put a jack on it there at some point, but the bottom of the rockers look pretty nice. You know, the frame rails look good. Right here, I was gonna look here. It was just a little undercoating that was just loose there. Actually, I'm just going to peel it back a little bit. A little surface rust. Should probably kill me for doing that, but yeah. I just want you to see it. Yeah, it's just a little surface rust there, but it's actually pretty nice. Nice floor there. So we'll uh, we'll chip that back a little bit uh, for you guys and put a little undercoating there. But overall, the floors are real nice in the car you can see the dual exhaust running all the way back the crossover rear end has a little seep right there I can see you know it can definitely you know use a little maintenance um, nothing major though you know it's just you know she is a mechanic does a great job here at the shop and She's too busy working on my stuff to mess with her own. It's like a, a carpenter, you know. Things you want to do, but you can't get around to doing it at your own place. So, you can see here the brake line looks good. Let's take a look at this floor on this side. Getting very nice. You can see a little paint chipping, a little denting there. But overall clean, you can see another dent right there and a couple little dents here on the floor. It's kind of funny, a lot of Z's that I look at, a lot of them have dented floors. I think it's because people stick jacks underneath there and different things. But there wasn't a lot of uh, ribbing and stuff that they put on the floor. It's pretty flat in general. So hopefully that gives you a good look. There's that Magnaflow uh, muffler on it. 
you know, it just has a wicked sound. I love the sound of this car ever since the first time I heard it. This uh, cutout here wasn't done for these uh, these tips. This is actually uh, the way Scarab did it. They actually had a two little, I think they're like inch and three quarters, something like that, two uh, tailpipes that came out of there. So she definitely wants something bigger, and especially with the two and a half inch pipe. You can see here this flare is broken just right here at the, the very back. But overall, looks good. You know, pretty clean car for being built uh, back in the day. You know, I guess, you know, early 80s. So, anyways, if you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, love to answer. I've already showed you guys this stuff, but a couple little bubbles there. And there was that right up here. There was that one on the other side, but I already showed you that stuff. But anyways, if you guys got uh, any questions, uh, please feel free to make comments, call us. We'd love to talk to you about the car. If you got any friends that want to come over and look at it, we'd love to show, show it to them uh, before you bid. Have a good Christmas.